of my favorite verses of the Quran or series of verses of the Quran. And it is in a, a middle Meccan verse. It was revealed when the persecution, the first Islamophobia raised its evil head. And our Prophet Muhammad was facing that Islamophobia. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell him? وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ We know, Ya Rasulullah, that your heart is in pain because of what they're saying. You know, it's completely fine to feel hurt. It's human to feel pain. Wallahi, it's human. Brothers, sisters, if anybody comes and says something about you, if you didn't feel pain, then something's wrong with you. If you didn't feel hurt, if you didn't feel a type of embarrassment and awkwardness, it's something natural. Somebody's going to make a slur about you, you say something about your skin color, say something about your background, go home terrorist, this and that. All of us have had that experience. I too, all of us have had that experience. People come home and they say nasty things to us, to our face or behind our backs. So Allah is telling our Prophet ﷺ, Ya Rasulullah, we know it hurts. Wallahi, that is so overwhelmingly peaceful to know even Rasulullah was in pain. And Allah Azza wa Jal said, We know, Ya Rasulullah, it hurts. So what? What should you do? وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرَكَ مَا يَقُولُونَ فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِّنَ السَّاجِدِينَ وَاعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ When you feel that distress, always praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And fall down in sajda, meaning when you are able to pray to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continue to worship Allah until the inevitable, meaning the death comes to you. Meaning that, you know, this pain and suffering, one of the ways to alleviate it, in fact, the number one way to alleviate it is to open up a channel of communication with Allah, is to praise Allah, make dua to Allah, fall down in sajda and continue to worship Allah. When the world seems to hate you, know that Allah Azza wa Jal loves you. When everybody else has cut off from you, know that Allah Azza wa Jal will never cut off from the one who turns to Him. So our Prophet is being told that as the animosity increases, you should increase your ta'alluq, your relationship with me. And this is an explicit verse that as Islamophobia goes up, so should our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This will calm us down. This will bring us the, the, the courage, the fortitude, the patience. It will bring us the stamina to withstand all that is happening around us. If we don't have Allah, we have nothing. And if we have Allah, we don't need anything else. So this verse is directing our Prophet ﷺ that when they speak and they hurt you physically, verbally, never forget, continue to praise me, continue to worship me, continue to fall down in prostration. And it's as if quite literally ignore their hatred, ignore it, you're in your bubble of worship. Just keep on going and eventually Allah's command will come. What is that Allah's command? Some people said the victory and the conquest of Mecca. And that's true. Eventually the, the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal will prevail over you know, the, the darkness around. Uh, and some have said even if you don't see the victory, your death will come and you are worshipping Allah. And that is really the ultimate goal. We might not achieve ultimate happiness in this world. But if we're able to achieve it in the Akhirah, that is the ultimate success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the Iman and Taqwa that is needed.